Sarah Kanji there with how you can protect yourself from this bitter cold. Sarah. Ben, like Boston, many communities, like here in Worcester, well, they are opening an emergency overnight warming center at the Senior Center. That opens up tomorrow morning and goes through Saturday. Temperatures are expected to plunge to dangerous levels. The best advice is to stay indoors. If you have to be outside, the experts say make sure you're covered up. With this kind of cold, frostbite can begin to set in in just 10 minutes. The chief of medicine at St. Vincent's Hospital says toes, fingers, ears, and your nose are the most vulnerable. Extreme cold brings its share of risks. Primarily exposure of skin to extreme cold leads to our blood vessels in the skin contracting. What's happening underneath is with the blood supply being cut off, oxygen gets cut off, that tissue dies. And so we call it initially frost nip and then it becomes frost bite. There are some initial signs and symptoms, starting with the, the feeling of pins and needles. Then your skin may turn white or blue, and then you may lose sensation altogether. If you do experience those symptoms, Dr. Abraham says one of the things to do is try to get warm uh, immediately. You can do that. The best way to do that is by using a face cloth with some warm water. And if, it's, if those symptoms still persist, you should then seek out a doctor. Live in Worcester, Sarah Conji, WCVB News Center 5.